Hi there guys what's up this is your friend and tutor Manas and guys this is going to be yet another problem in the series of lectures based on orthographic prediction so here we go so this basically is the pictorial representation of an object for which we're going to be making the front view the top view and the left hand side view all right so these are the three multi views that we're going to be making and for that we need to start off by drawing simply an xy line well this line represents the intersection of the two planes that is vertical plane that is going to be above this xy line and the horizontal plane below one more thing that i would like to tell you on this vertical plane you you're going to be having this front view okay when you watch the object over from here and below this xy line you're going to have the top view so let's go ahead and initially construct the front view now as far as front view is concerned please have a closer look this edge you see okay this zigzag edge you see will appear as a straight line of 75 millimeters and at the same time this will be 12 millimeters okay you can see this this is 12 millimeters and from this point onwards in the upper direction we're gonna go 50 millimeters all right now initially what i'll be doing is i'll assume that the entire object is lying 10 millimeters above the horizontal plane and then i'll be drawing a line 75 millimeters long from this point 75 yeah done okay so that's a 75 mm long line let me check this it appears as if it has become more all right so that's the 75 mm long line now from this point we're gonna go upstairs by an amount of 12 millimeters so let's go ahead and do that so this is gonna be 12 yeah done and finally we have this 50 millimeters okay so this is gonna be 50 50 steps done now you can see these two points appear as if this zigzag line you see again will appear as a straight line when you watch this from the front and hence what we're gonna do is we'll join these two points with the help of a simple inclined line you can say okay now uh, we're gonna go ahead and further construct this front view now guys we have this point okay now this point appears as if it is at a distance of 25 millimeters from this corner okay and this point over here appears as if it is at a distance of again 25 millimeters from this edge over here so what basically we can do is i can make two points one from here 25 distance and then i can go ahead okay and let me do the same stuff over here also from this point i'm gonna go towards the left at a distance of 25 um done okay now what basically i need to do is i need to draw lines from these two points upstairs let me do let me do that once again okay from this point also all right now i'm going to be extending these two lines these two lines until they uh, reach this edge over here okay and it's going to look something like this let me do that um put this also yeah that's almost done okay now let's go ahead and see what else can be done now guys this profile you see okay this point over here appears as if um, it is at a distance of 19 millimeters in the top view and this is going to be how much this is going to be we have to work that out eventually okay now this profile can only be made when we initially create its top view and then its corresponding front view can be made so let's see how that can be done okay so for making the top view what we're going to be assuming is that the back portion this back portion of this uh, object shall be kept 10 millimeters away from the vertical plane so any distance from the vertical plane can be seen from the top and hence we are doing this and again this is the 75 millimeter long line that you're going to see from the top so this is going to be 75 millimeters yeah then this distance how much is this distance this is 63 okay so let's go ahead and plot that 63 done what else is left this is again going to be 75 and then back to where we started all right guys so we need this point over here okay somewhere here we're gonna find that point now this point is uh, say we're gonna go 19 steps over here and then 12 steps over here 19 steps along this line 19 steps and then over here by 12 steps that's it that's the point we wanted now from this point onwards okay this point onwards so this is the points top view over here and its corresponding front view will be somewhere let me show you exact location of it um, it's going to be somewhere here that's it okay so that's that's the base point over here all right 
from this point onwards from this point onwards i need to go upstairs by an amount of let's say this is going to be 16 millimeters so let's do that quickly um 16 millimeters one six and just let me draw this line slightly okay the length of this edge has not been given to us we don't require that even, in fact okay so what basically i'm going to be doing is you can see these two edges okay the front view of these two edges will appear as a line over here and it will appear as if this line is going to intersect this incline line and finally it should look something like this that's it okay over here you can see this uh, these edges are intersecting this surface and as far as front view is concerned you're going to see these edges in the form of a line from the front and it's going to intersect this inclined line somewhere here so that was all about the front view well still there is something left okay now we need this 12 millimeters and we need to go come here so we can have this 12 millimeters over here and then we can we can move towards the left but by what amount that is something that we need to work out okay so how can that be done let's work that out all right so from this point corresponds to this point over here so what basically we're going to be doing is we're going to go 12 steps downwards and then randomly i'm going to be drawing this line okay this line corresponds to this line and you can see that this line is going to meet this edge okay this slant edge over here and finally when it meets that edge it's going to look something like this that's the point i'm talking about all right now uh, this edge is something that will not be visible all right guys and when you try to look at this edge from the front this edge will not be visible and hence what you need to do is you need to make this edge hidden okay something which is not visible directly has to be made with the help of a hidden line and that's exactly what i'm going to be doing now let's go ahead and uh, darken the portion which uh, which is going to be visible to us with the help of a different color and i'm going to thicken these lines and finally it should look something like this um let me use a blue color or a red color blue yeah that's it so that's exactly what you're going to be seeing from the front okay and this portion you see I've made a hidden line for that and you can actually change the color of that also. All right, that's all. Now guys, let's worry about this top view, okay? And for making the top view, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna extend these so-called lines down below. Uh, let me do that quickly until they reach here. And uh, let me draw these lines immediately. That's it. These are what you call projector lines. And there was a line from here also. That's it. pretty close. And you have to be very careful while you do so because you guys I think are going to be using this manual drafting okay and for someone who is drawing this on AutoCAD not an issue fine um, let's go ahead and make this profile now this is what you call uh, front view starts from here and ends over here okay so you, you're going to see this this box when you look at this object from the top this box somewhere here fine now this edge this edge is 25 millimeters so what we're going to be doing is we're going to go 25 millimeters from this point 25 and then the front view okay the starting is from here and ending is over here so we're going to end somewhere here and that's it that's it let's let's finish this that's it so this is the corresponding top view for this profile okay let me darken this portion so that you can you guys can have a better understanding of this profile let me give it some color all right yeah all right let's let's go ahead and do something else now this profile you see guys um this is there is a slight bend over here okay slight bend over here fine at a distance of 25 millimeters so this bend is 20 12 millimeters fine so what we're going to be doing is we're going to go 12 millimeters let's let's say starting from this point corresponds to this point and this point corresponds to this point over here so it's corresponding top views are over here and what we're going to be doing is we're going to go 12 millimeters over here and then towards the right until we reach here let me zoom on this then back here all right so basically this portion will not be visible uh, let me re remove that portion guys yeah that's it and this portion needs to be darkened okay let me darken that with a different color basically that's the blue color that i'm going to use all right now a few portions of this 
um, top few are still missing. Now this profile you see, starting from this point to this point. Now this rectangle is going to be evident from the top and it's going to look something like this. Let me show you. Now this distance is going to be 22 from here and 22 from here. All right. So let us fix that distance and uh, let me do that quickly. This is going to be 22. And let me just randomly draw a line. Okay. And this also is going to be 22 from this point. All right. Now, starting from here till here, from here till here. All right. So what basically I'm going to be doing is I'm going to extend these two lines until they reach. Let me check that once again from this. That's it. Okay. I'm going to be using this extend command for that. And you guys can do that so with the help of a mini drafter pretty easily or with the help of any scale for that matter. And now finally, I'm going to join these two points. Also, let me select these three lines and let me darken them with the help of a different color. So here we go. This is the top view. Let's see if there is some portion that is still remaining. Now that the front view and top view is over, we will now go ahead and create the left hand side view and for that I'll be doing a small little construction something like this and we're going to be looking at this object from over here that is from the left hand side and when you look at this in the pictorial representation you're going to have to look at this object from over here okay and then only you can have the left hand side view towards this right of the front view okay somewhere here we're going to be having this left hand side view all right so for that uh, the process it, it's going to be pretty simple and please follow the steps for that I'm going to be making these so-called projector lines. Let me do that quickly. Done. Now we've got to rotate all these lines by an angle of 45 degree. Okay. Until they intersect this line over here. Well, that's it. And now let's bring these so-called projector lines from the left of your screen towards the right. Let me zoom on it this slightly. from bottom to top let me copy this you guys can make use of a mini drafter for this purpose it's pretty close these two lines are very close to one another so wherever you see these so called blue lines um, thick dark blue lines you're gonna have to make use of an edge pencil okay and wherever you see these so-called thin black lines you have to make use of a four edge pencil for that okay so the portion of the solid which is uh, clearly evident either from the front top or side has to be darkened or uh, <clears throat> has to be shown with the help of solid dark solid lines well that's it now let's go ahead and see what we can see from this side all right so this is the portion that you're going to see 63 and this bottom strip you see 63 by 12 mm strip is something that you're going to be seeing starting from here till here that means from here till here okay so let's go ahead and do that um let me use a different color immediately for that purpose and we're going to start from this point this point corresponds to this point over here all right that's it well that's it now moving ahead so we have this portion guys let me fix this portion okay it's gonna be somewhere here and somewhere between these two lines all right now what about these vertical lines where exactly it will lie let's have a look and you can see this it is going to lie between this vertical line okay and between please see where the mouse is hovering this this and between this vertical line so we'll go ahead and do that construction okay so these are the intersection points these are the intersection points and let's go ahead and do that and let me have a line okay it's gonna be starting from this point that's it then it's gonna end up over here and then finally let, let it's, it, this is this has to be done very meticulously otherwise you may end up joining with some other line let me check this okay so this was the line okay it's, it's very difficult i mean to keep on zooming on something and 
that's it and between this line and between these two lines this one and this one that's it so this is going to be 16 millimeters high this is going to be 16 millimeters high and that's the width is going to be 25 this width is going to be 25 anyway now let's go ahead and worry about this okay now this this is something this is 12 and i don't know how much this length is but there is going to be an edge here again over here that is going to be 12 millimeters um fine but still you're going to be able to see this portion okay so this portion i'm talking about let's let's go ahead and figure out where it is in this portion i'm talking about that's it that's it and uh, that's where it starts and what we're going to be doing is from this point onwards till we reach here i'm going to be making a line it's going to be looking something like this and let me check this uh yeah okay okay and from the height the depth is going to be this much all right so what's next this profile and this profile over here okay so let's go ahead and plot that done this inclined line will appear as a straight line when you look at this from the left hand side from over here so it's going to be looking like like this and like this that's it i guess something something is missing out now this edge you see when you look at this object from this side this this edge will be seen and this edge will be seen now these two edges are 12 millimeters wide okay and we know exactly what the height of these edges are so one edge is going to start from this line and the other edge is going to start from let me let me let me take a clear look at that once again one edge is going to start from this other is edge is going to start from this so we're going to go and travel a distance of 12 millimeters so this is going to be 12 millimeters okay this is 12 millimeters so basically let me let me do this quickly that's it that's it fine just think about this you'll re you'll you'll you eventually realize why i've done this okay but there is something else which is actually hidden slightly behind this so behind this surface there is an edge over here okay that will not be visible okay so what basically we're going to be doing is we're going to make sure that this edge is shown with the help of a hidden line so let us go ahead and do that that's it and this edge i'm talking about let me make it There is an edge over here. This edge I am talking about. And let us make sure that this edge is shown with the help of hidden line. That's it. That's exactly what I was trying to say. This was one hell of a tough problem, guys. And uh, it was so tiring. Uh, anyways, I hope that you guys will take your time and eventually draw this orthographic prediction. So take your time. Don't be in a hurry because these things require patience. And I'm sure that you guys will be able to do this orthographic prediction taking not more than, say, half an hour. Yeah. All right. So guys, that was all from my side. If you have any doubts or queries, do write them down in the comment section below. I'll be very happy to answer them in the best possible way. And I'm going to be taking up more problems based on orthographic predictions. And you'll realize that the level of difficulty keeps on increasing with every lecture that I upload based on this topic. Until then, it's a wrap for today, guys. Uh, this is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care. Have a great day and keep drawing.